I say only this life should be in world No benefit in world It's come to one priest, my people One nation, one people Let's unite and we forget An angelic baby Born and hidden from the dark shadows of our society Where morals have eroded meaning Where peace is preached but seems to be meaningless Where law is taken less and government is as dice to eat people Where wars has become culprit favorite game Where one tribe claim themselves to be mightier than the rest Where the poor cling true Thousand die of anger and flood our presidents and five vice presidents but our beloved South Sudan cries out loud for leadership. Nine years after it gained independence, I was born in South Sudan. Coming to another country for refuge and adapting to the surrounding was not a bed of roses. Many were the times when I would walk around and look like a clouse. Many were the times people would not regard me by my name, but by my nationality. The South Sudanese girl. The South Sudanese girl. And everybody would turn around to look at me. Mm -hmm. I really pity myself and even went to an extent of cursing it through. This really lowered my self-esteem and I would walk facing down and I let fate take its course. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only person who went through these things. We all who are living in the diaspora went through it. It's not because we are ashamed of our motherland, but we feel unaccepted in countries we are taking asylum. We are tired already. We want to come back home. We are tired of being tired of fighting discrimination, class stratification, and of countries we are residing. We are tired of living in foreign countries. We need a home where we would be walking freely without fear. A home that will be accepted and loved abundantly. A peaceful home. We want to come back and create meaning to being a citizen. Enough, it's enough. We can't accept its verdict. These things must come to an end. You need to understand that patriotism is a love of a country. But you can't love your country without loving your compatriots. If we love our country, we also should love our country people instead of killing each other due to our high position. We don't always have to agree, but we must empower each other. We must find the common ground. We must build bridges across our differences for the sake of our country's future to pursue the common good. We need to change the direction of our country's heading and direct our youthful energy to a meaningful agenda, to guiding each other into the right path in a state of ruthless anger for power and plunder. These vices must come to an end. We are brothers and sisters internally. Let us bring meaning to our independence. Let us stand united and work together for a better tomorrow, for a better South Sudan. <laughs> Let me be alone in